so I am back from my shopping trip. I couldn't resist. I have a million and one blankets, but I had to get this one. It was super cute. Um, the pom poms couldn't resist those. Gonna put those in my new room. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm moving. So I'm gonna put those in my Christmas room when I start decorating. Um, if I could, I would decorate now. I mean, I've already got Winter Wonderland. You can't really read it, but Winter Wonderland sheets already. Um, but when I go full out, definitely gonna be using these red pom-poms, these um, bells. I think will go on my door, you know, whenever I open it, that would look super cute. So I am starting my first ever home infusion therapy um, on Monday of a drug called IVIG. I will tell you more about it um, later. I'll put a definition on the screen right now, just of the basics, but I'll tell you why. Um, I'll be trying it out, why my Stanford doctors decided to try this out. But anyway, we're gonna be trying this drug called IVIG. I thought I'd show you all the accoutrements that came in the mail. This isn't even the actual drugs. The drugs are in the fridge. They need to stay in there. Cold until Monday. Basically we have a sharp container because they'll put an IV in. I don't have a port or a pick line or anything. Um, we got alcohol swabs, which I do have already because I have, because I have a glucose monitor, but they sent me one anyway. Gloves for the nurse, the IV pump. Basically, it's an anaphylaxis kit for the nurse if anything were to happen. Heparin to flush your line, or I'm not an expert, but I think that's to flush your line. And then heparin to clear your line of clots and things like that. So I'll get educated on that on Monday and bring you guys along. But this is all the stuff I have so far. Hey, so. Um, yeah, so the basic reason for me trying this out is because um, I am undiagnosed. I've had this connective tissue disorder my entire life with no quote-unquote cure or understanding why um, I have it. You know, Stanford, one of the top-rated teaching hospitals in the world, you know, you know, they haven't even been able to um, understand the genetic component as to why, you know, I have this disorder that affects my muscles, my joints, um, and a bunch of other connective tissue in my body. So the connective tissue in my spine, the connective tissue in my lungs, uh, heart, um, things like that, my esophagus, um, anywhere that connective tissue is, it kind of affects that we're learning, you know, we thought it was just, it was just joints, you know, it was just the connective tissue, you know, connecting my bones and my muscles together. And then we realized that it um, affected the, the surrounding of my heart, the pericardium, and that's stiffening. You know, this connective tissue um, in my spine, some of it is calcified um, and hardening and stiffening and I'm getting tighter and tighter and things like that for who knows what reason, you know? So it was an immunology for them and, you know, they tried prednisone um, as like a pain management kind of a route. Um, but that really, really helped with a bunch of other stuff. Not only the chronic pain, but it actually made me looser. My energy was better. My stamina, you know, was longer, etc. My breathing was better because I have really low lung function. 
um, and then also my swallowing troubles got um, improved as well. So I have I aspirate pretty much everything that I that I eat, but I've always had that since I was a baby. So it's normal, even though aspiration sounds bad. I've always done that. Um, but now we're learning that that is starting to scar my lungs. We've been trying new things for the past year to get the results the prednisone did because I did bursts of it um, to really see that it actually worked. But you can't be on prednisone uh, forever because it causes serious issues um, with your bone densities. We finally came up with IVIG in like September and now it's the end of October and I'm like just getting my first dose so you can see how slow moving the whole insurance and medical game is no matter how much you push and no matter how much you're an advocate for yourself you it takes bloody ages and their theory now is that the reason I'm having all of my underlying issues um, that I mentioned with lungs esophagus maybe heart but definitely joints and muscles is because of an autoimmune disorder of some kind because the prednisone did work really thinking that because it's an autoimmune disorder if you replace a bunch of my cells with other people's cells other people's healthy cells the immunoglobulin part of other people's red blood cells then it would stop my body would stop attacking itself basically. So that's the theory um, behind that. I saw a GI doctor at Stanford who has had high hopes and high results with other patients with um, esophageal dysmotility, which is what I have basically where I aspirate my food um, and my drinks and things like that. And they've had, he's had good results with using IVIG to um, counteract that. So hopefully it works, cross your fingers. Um, and then also joint pain, muscle pain, um, other things like that. Hopefully that will improve as well. Stamina will improve, um, etc. Those are all big things that we hope to see improvements on. I, hopefully it works out for me just like it's worked out for a lot of other people. Um, you know, I haven't been diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder or you know, been diagnosed with anything just yet, no light bulb moments to report, but it's just another um, drug to try. It's a little more invasive, obviously, than just taking a pill, than just taking prednisone or whatever, but um, a lot less long-term side effects, like people can be on this for a while, but I'm jumping the gun, so let's just get this, let's just get through the first few days, the first dose, and see what happens, but I'll bring you along about it so all right i'll see you in my next video thanks bye, -bye.